Hello, and welcome to another fabulous day of a life of a single mother with an autistic daughter. If this is your first time, I want to welcome you, and I hope that you will come back and be part of the family. So I hope that if you're watching this, this is on a Sunday, and I hope that your weekend was great. Um, my weekend um, was really busy, and I'm going to show you the reason why it was busy. And so there's a good reason why it was busy. But uh, anyway, uh, Nicole was on um, a fall, fall break from her school for the whole week, this past week. So um, we spent most of our time um, taking care of business, which was personal business. And that's what I was doing yesterday. So this is what this video is about, what um, I done yesterday. And I'm gonna show you what I did and uh, what I discovered um, doing um, my, um, not quote, I'm not gonna say doing my uh, inspection um, because uh, what happened was um, early this week, um, I had uh, uh, got in touch with my home warranty insurance. And for you all that's homeowners, uh, you all know that um, uh, that you have to you have to have at least two homeowners insurance, one for your house, and another one for your appliances. Anything that become broken down or anything like that, your your regular homeowner insurance doesn't have anything to do with that. But your appliances home insurance does. Um, things that that they cover is uh, your refrigerator and stove, washing and dryer, um, your furnish, your uh, water heater, and um, your electric cords and stuff like that. And I, I'm, oh yeah, plumbing, plumbing too. So for you all that uh, who are homeowners, you all know what I'm talking about. So that's what I did. I got in touch with my homeowners insurance um, this past week and I discussed with them that I was having issue with my uh, furnish. My furnish, I, I started having issue with my uh, furnish, I think it was Monday. Yep, it was Monday. It was early Monday, early Monday morning. It was on Columbus Day. And I noticed that um, the furnace kept shutting off. It would, it would, it would kick off, it would kick on, but it wouldn't uh, stay on fully. So I had, um, I, I, at the time, I'm gonna let you know this, um, at the time I was uh, carrying two other appliances, homeowners insurance. And one of them was called American Water Home Warranty Insurance. And they sent out um, uh, a technician and he came out and he found out the issue at the time. He said that uh, there were some, uh, a couple of things that needed to be repaired. So on his way out that he was intending on to uh, go get the parts, uh, he had got a phone call from a lady that uh, works at the company that he works for. And she insisted that he goes to his one o'clock appointment instead of going to pick up my part for my furnace. So with that being said, I had to wait for several hours because I didn't know what was going on. And when uh, he came back to my house about four o'clock p.m., uh, I think it was Wednesday he came. Yep, it was Wednesday. When he came Wednesday, I discovered that uh, he lied. He lied about that he had picked up uh, the part for my furnace, and he never did. Uh, the only reason that I know he lied, because, you know, us women, we have intuition, and we know that when something's not right. And so he came upstairs. He had this odd look on his face. And before he came upstairs, he was down in my, util util my utility room, and he was talking to someone on the phone. He was arguing with them uh, concerning... Um, my issue. 
So when he did come upstairs, he uh, had informed me that um, my furnace, uh, which is my uh, thermostat on the wall, should kick off. And he said that um, it. Um, he said that he didn't know how long it was going to stay on, so he left. So I noticed after he left, uh, it was not kicking on like it should. And so I, I called the office, and uh, the lady had informed me that he never picked up the part. She said uh, she hasn't talked to him. So so I, I requested that she send someone else out, and uh, she sent another guy out that came on Monday. And um, that didn't go too well. And um, from what I was told by my uh, home warrant, my home warrant insurance for American uh, Water and homeowners, uh, the name of them is called American Water Resource Homeowners Insurance. They informed me that they was going to have the same company to send someone else out to do the cleaning for the furniture. And whatever parts needs to be uh, replaced to do so, and, and, if it, and if the furnish is not able to be replaced, they can uh, um, fund me some money where it can go towards a new furnish. So the guy came out, and uh, he was not pleasant at all. He um, be became unhinged, and he uh, ensured me that uh, even though that American Home Resource Home Warranty Insurance wanted him to do the cleaning for my furniture, he refused. And so with that being said, I told him that I didn't know what was his reason for being here. And I told him that that's what you was getting paid for. And he kept ensuring me that when he opened um, the little case, I'm going to show you what he did. And when he opened that case, I noticed that the part that the other guy named Chris took out from the company he works for was not there. And then that's when I informed him, I said that that part was never put on. So my instinct was right. So this guy, he kept telling me that he wanted me to sign the form stating that he uh, done the work, even though he didn't. And I let him know that I was not signing anything when he has not done anything. And I uh, insisted that he get out of my house. And he was at first acting like he did not want to leave. I thought once I was going to have to call the Gary Police Department because I feel like this, me being a homeowner, and if I ask you to leave, you should get your ass up and get the fuck out of my house. So he was acting like he didn't want to leave, but I escorted him to back and I told him that no I'm not signing this form and you need to get the hell out so once he was outside the door he started talking his mess and I proceeded to close the door like I supposed to and walked away me and Nicole walked away so with that being said um I reached out to um American Home American uh, Water Resource Home Insurance Company, and I insured them Wednesday night that I no longer wanted to do business with them. And the reason being because after reading their reviews, they had very bad reviews uh, from this month and September, and that was the straw. And I also, I had been wanting to get rid of them because I feel like they have been sending low budget people and that act like they wanted to do work when they didn't, when they really did not want to do it or they act like they wanted to come but never showed up. I just felt like it was just a waste of time. So I um, discontinued my service with them. So what I did was call my other home insurance company that I've been with uh, since last year. And uh, when I contacted them, they sent a guy out Friday. Uh, well, actually, he's supposed to come Friday, but he, he wasn't able to come Friday. But he did come Saturday, which was yesterday. And so he did an awesome job. He, um, he, he cleaned the uh, furniture, and he also showed me what was going on with my furnace. And he told me that um, 
he actually told me the same thing from another homeowner's insurance company I had from American um, Home Shield uh, from two years ago. And he said that uh, most of the time when a, a furnace gets about 15 to, to 20 years, it's time to um, to replace them. And that's what I was told from American Home Shield about uh, two years ago, that when it gets that time, it's time to replace them. So. He said he's going to put in for an order for me to um, to see with uh, the uh, the second homeowner's um, uh, uh, insurance going to do, and he said with that being said, <clears throat> what I need to do is start calling around, call my county, and see if uh, they have a program that help uh, low income families to get uh, furnished. So that's why I was coming on here to say that if you all want to help me and Nicole to get uh, another furnish, you are more welcome to do so. I'm not here to uh, twist your leg or anything, but I just want to make sure that we're going to be uh, nice and safe and stay warm when the winter comes. So that's what we're we at now. So we're trying to work on another furnish because it's time to get one because he said that um, what he's seen that the furnish um, is, a, is, is from 2003 and he said it is time to uh, replace it. And I can agree with that. So like I said, you are more than welcome to help if you want to. And uh, from what he uh, stated to me yesterday, uh, during our conversation, he said that um, he's going to write up the order and he doesn't know um, what um, the uh, homeowner insurance uh, is going to do. But he said, I can also reach out to my, uh, my house insurance and see if uh, they'll be willing to give me some kind of money to help uh, to fix it. And also with the county, um, I can try to see if they have a program that help low income family to uh, to get another furnish. My mom says she had got one that way. Uh, I think it was this year. She had to replace hers. So let me go take you in the utility room and uh, let you take a look at it. I'm not gonna open it because uh, I don't know how to put it to get back together or anything, but I'm gonna let you see what it looks like and what he was discussing. This is my furnace right here. And this is what he was talking about. And this is the area that he showed me yesterday. He was saying that um, he can tell that whoever worked on it before, which the last time I think it was worked on, I think it was about two years ago, and that was through American uh, Home Shield. And he said that he can tell from the job that they done, um, they uh, uh, went through some half ways of doing certain things. And he said he can tell pretty much the reason why they probably had did it. So like I said, I'm not gonna open it because I don't know how to really put it back together. But he did in inform me that these furnish needs to be cleaned often because he said it had dust around it and things like that. So while he was here, he, he uh, dust off some things and he uh, kind of replaced some stuff. So what you hear right now is the fan, the fan that's going. And uh, that's what he has the, um, the thermostat set on. And I have a new thermostat I'm gonna show you too. And he said that um, he would rather have it uh, put on the fan. And uh, I just used the heater that I have upstairs uh, sitting next to um, where uh, the uh, like where the heat or something will come out with the fan the, the fan air will come out and he said that that would help to uh, circulate the um, the air in the house but make it warm if it's kind of gets cool or anything because right now today it got up in the 60s and 70s tomorrow will be 82. So that's where we at for now. And uh, 
he said that uh, he was also telling me that um, he said before the pandemic, he used to um, could be able to uh, get a furnace for four hundred and fifty dollars. But he said now he could get one uh, for about seven hundred. So he said that with labor and everything, let's say like if I didn't uh, don't have a program that can help me, he said you're looking at about one thousand six hundred dollars to uh, get everything uh, ready, and including um, it would include uh, his fee of putting it in because he said that he can get his uh, son to help him. He said I think he said his son about sixteen or seventeen and he can help him put it in. He said, all you have to do is, uh, with those furnish, is slide them out, and you slide another one in, and they'll take this old one with them. And he said that he can connect everything together. So tomorrow at the Nicole School, what I'm going to do is uh, reach out to my county and ask them questions about who do I talk to about if I need to get on a program where they help low income um, families to get another furnish. And also, um, he, he advised me too to wait to about we Tuesday or Wednesday to reach out to the homeowners um, uh, appliances insurance and uh, see what they made the decision because they're closed now. They're closed on the weekend, so there's nobody to talk to. So, like I said, that's where we at now. And so, like I said, that if you all want to help help us uh, with this situation, you are more welcome to do so. Because right now, like I said, that uh, it's just right now, it's set on the fan. He said the reason why he set it on the fan, because I was down here when he was doing it. He said the reason why he set it on the fan is because the, the simple fact being because... Um, when he put it on heat, it it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, stay on very long. It would constantly kick off, kick, kick kick off instead of kicking on and staying on. So he said that um, it just the whole thing just need to be replaced. And he said that putting brand new parts on on this um, furniture wouldn't make any sense because he said that if I wanted new parts put on it. You're looking at about 500, and it would include his labor total of 500. But he said to him, he don't feel that it would be a worth it, worth it. And so that's the same thing that uh, um, American Home Shield to, to told me two years ago. Said when those uh, uh, furnace get so old, it's time to just do away with them and put another one in. So he said that he's going to put in for the order and see what uh, the second home on the insurance do. And so, like I said, you all more than welcome to help and just take it from there. And I have a cash app if you need to do that. And if you want to reach out to me, you're more than welcome to reach, reach out to me in my email. And you know my email is, uh, you, you'll see it um, before you get to the common. It being like an additional stuff like that is gamma marcella at yahoo.com that's where you can reach me so until then i want to welcome you for this wonderful sunday and i'm hoping that you are having a great weekend and a great sunday so until then i will keep you all posted uh, what's going on next with our situation and um that's all i can do so until then i'll talk to you all later have a great night bye bye